Today's morning devotional. Living by principle not inclination, Christ's adherence to principle. In the volume of the book it is written of me, I delight to do thy will, O my God, yet, thy law is within my heart. Psalm chapter 40 verses 7 and 8. The life of Christ was distinguished from the generality of children. His strength of moral character and his firmness ever led him to be true to his sense of duty and to adhere to the principles of right, from which no motive, however powerful, could move him. Money or pleasure, applause, or censure, could not purchase or flatter him to consent to a wrong action. He was strong to resist temptation, wise to discover evil, and firm to abide faithful to his convictions. The wicked and unprincipled would flatter and portray the pleasures of sinful indulgences, but his strength of principle was strong to resist the suggestions of Satan. His penetration had been cultivated, that he could discern the voice of the tempter. He would not swerve from duty to obtain the favor of any. He would not sell his principles for human praise or to avoid reproach and the envy and hatred of those who were enemies of righteousness and true goodness. He took pleasure in discharging his obligations to his parents and to society, without yielding his principles or being contaminated with the impure influence surrounding him at Nazareth. Never did Christ deviate from loyalty to the principles of God's law. Never did he do anything contrary to the will of his Father. Jesus does not, after giving us general directions, leave us to guess the way amid bypaths and dangerous passes. He leads us in a straight path, and while we follow him our footsteps will not slide. Each soul must live in hourly communion with Christ, for he says, without me ye can do nothing. His principles are to be our principles, for these principles are the everlasting truth, proclaimed in righteousness, goodness, mercy, and love. His principles are the only steadfast things our world knows.